Let's talk about Volcano here. Um, I've done a couple videos on um, on the Pokemon inside, like Rapidash and Vulpix and um, Voltrez. But uh, let's just talk about Volcano as a whole. A um, couple things is that uh, ideally you want to have about 54 to 55k points coming into Volcano. Um, you can have more than that. I think I've seen 56 or 57k coming in to Volcano. And um, that's super good points, by the way. But um, 55k should do you fine. Um, depending on how confident you are with your pictures inside of Volcano de determines how you want to take care of Moltres. I did another video on Moltres about the three stages of Moltres and um, the point values for each and when you should go for them. So if you want to want to talk about that on that video, um, there's one that's like four and a half thousand points. There's one that's about two and a half thousand points. There's one that's worth 500 points. Um, so do keep that in mind. But uh, go in. Let's uh, let's talk about it. So whenever you come in here. Uh, there's an easy way to set up for um, for Rapidash. The idea is that as soon as Rapidash appears in your camera, inside the range, whenever you're lo zoomed in like this, that's when you want to unzoom, look to the bottom right, and throw an apple. Um, so we're gonna look. Don't want to touch anything. As soon as it comes into view, throw an apple. You want to aim at the back hind quarters, like the back thigh. Um, it doesn't matter if you cut the head off, um, it seems crazy, but you actually get full marks for um, for this picture. And you get even more points because there's a second one in the background. Do keep that in mind. Um, there's a couple of Vulpix strategies here. Um, it's better and faster um, just overall to get the first one here. Um, what you want to do is you want to throw apples to lure him closer, and as soon as he's close, um, whenever he's eating the apple, he'll do a little dance, and um, that's worth the most points. Um, but if you get too close, you'll end up scaring him away. So you can get you can technically get 4,000 points, which is the maximum for this, um, but it's really difficult because the timing has to be perfect, and if you get it wrong, then you end up messing up the whole thing, and it sucks. Um, we're going to give it a shot real quick. Um, I recently found a consistent or more consistent way to get um, get more points on full picks. Um, I did like a consistent high high point count. Um, I don't know how much this is worth, but it's probably worth like thirty six thousand, um, which is okay. But the other strategy is that as soon as the smoke appears, we just ignore the first full picks. But the second full picks here, you would just um, second full picks. You would ignore the first one and look for that smoke signal. As soon as the smoke starts showing up, you just want to start throwing apples. The reason is there's two full picks right below us here, and when you start throwing apples, it'll bring at least one of them over to the um, over to this volcano here. And whenever the full picks goes far enough further far enough down the volcano, um, it will. Uh, reach a spot at the end where it'll just start dancing continuously. Get the spot in there. It's not going. Um, once it gets to the spot here, it'll just start dancing. And if you get close enough, it doesn't matter how close you get, it won't ever run away. So it's a good idea for maybe new newcomers um, to get used to it. It's not faster. Let me be clear, it's not faster to do this way. It's just different, and you can get a bit more points. Um, I would usually get consistently 3,500 points on the first full picks, but you can get a good 4,000, maybe 4,300 points on this one here, depending on how close you get to this full picks. Um, it also doesn't really affect your um, your Charmander Magmar setup. <sighs> so let's talk about Charmander and Magmar. This sequence here is annoying because um, depending on just their location and their uh, movement RNG, uh, they can be in terrible positions for this, and it's really frustrating. 
Um, but what you want to do is you want to end up pulling both of them together. Uh, you want to you want to get Charmander whenever he's eating the apple and jumping for joy, um, because if you get him before he's um, he's jumping around, um, it's not worth it. It's slower that way, but that way you don't lose Charmeleon. Because for this one, I'm not going to get any points for Charmeleon. It'd be like a hundred, if that. Um, but if you had gotten a picture, throw an apple, snap forward. As soon as you snap forward, you want to turn back around, wait for Charmeleon to get up, and then he's going to go for the apple and eat it. Now, obviously, because um, because if they were in a bad spot, I didn't get the setup very well. If you don't want to go too fast, so if you're in a bad spot like I was, it would have been smarter to not snap forward and just hold backwards. Not hold backwards, but look backwards and snap that way. It's slower that way, but that way you don't lose Charmeleon. Because for this one, I'm not going to get any points for Charmeleon. It'd be like 100, if that. Um, but if you had gotten a picture of Charmeleon, even if it's far away, it's worth about 2,900 points. Um, afterwards, walk forward, you're in time to get Moltres, and here you can choose to decide to get the uh, Orange Crush Moltres, the Early Early, or the Lava Moltres. You can get the Poseless, which is right here as soon as it turns and looks at you, or you can wait a second to get the Pose. Again, the Pose is worth the most points, and it's, uh, it should go into consideration if you are lacking in points. Like if you are less than 54,000 points, you might consider it. Uh, if you're at 54 uh, and you're not confident with your pictures, I would go for poseless. Um, but if you're doing super good and you're going for world record, you definitely want to go for the um, the Lava Moltres, the Orange Crush, the uh, REM, however you want to call it. And uh, if you're really hurting for points, like if you're just starting and you want to guarantee that you get early pesters or just want to get more points in general, um, these two mol these two Magmars here um, will give you a special. Um, point value of 800 extra points, and it's called Fighting Magmar. Um, so this Magmar picture here is worth a lot of points. Um, it's usually worth about 5,600 or so. So that's a good one there. This one's probably worth about 36. I'm going to show you this one here. I, think I like that one better. The Charmander picture. It's a good... Magmar. This one was awful, and it sucks. That counted as Magmar, so we're actually not going to do that. That would have been awful if it counted as Charmeleon. So. Um, we're going to use that Magmar. I forgot about that one. Um, this is worth about 400. We're going to go for this one. To show you some, some different points. So that's a pretty uh, consistent 4500 um, Rapidash. Um, wow, I somehow got four points on this one. Probably because I wasn't as close as I could be. Um, the other bad thing about using this strategy is that um, you have to be on like the very right side of the track in order to get good points. Because if you're not, you're going to get this happen to, happen to you. Or even though you get a really good picture, it's still going to count as like 36 or so. But, I mean, it's probably more than what I got for the other picture, so let's go with that. And um, if, you, if I had been a little bit closer, I would have gotten a bit more, but you can get about a good 3,000 points on this one. Depending on where Charmander is positioned, you can get more than that. Um, Oseless, it's not great, but it gets you about 25, 2,600 points. And then Fighting Magmar here, um, it gets you an 800 points to start, which is great, because that'll double to 1,600 points automatically. Um, the pose is the same, 1200 pose, and then depending on which one you get, I don't want them for the back one, I probably should have gone for the, the one even with his back facing to me, because he's closer and he's less obscured, I probably would have got more points for him. Um, plus you get the extra Pokemon in the picture, so that's 5,000 points. As opposed to three or 4,000 points you would get for the one in front of the Charmander. So... Um, all things considered, at the end, you should um, that should give you at least twenty something thousand points. You only take six pictures, and they're all worth about three k, um, except for the Moltres one. 
Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, the thing about Pokemon Snap is that uh, a lot of times the routing can be done on the fly simply based on how many points you have and how much you need. Um, a lot of that just comes with experience and just knowledge of the actual game. But I hope that helps.